Hey, good morning, Sharon Hornells from Pajama Grandma with day three of the Painkillers Challenge. And I want to thank my daughter for giving me the feedback that nobody wants to do a chronic pain challenge. I don't even want to do a chronic pain challenge. It's the same thing when I did a stress challenge. I did a, a 30 day and then a 60 day because I was going through a super duper stressful time in my life challenge. And every day I would do something to alleviate stress. It's the same thing here. Every day we're going to do something for 30 days to alleviate our chronic pain, but we don't want to call it a chronic pain challenge, especially given yesterday's lesson about don't, not, and no. So today, the first thing I'm going to do is go through and change everything from chronic pain killer or the chronic, chronic pain challenge to painkillers challenge because we all want to kill the pain in our life. We don't want to be focusing on chronic pain. We want to be focusing on the opposite of it pain-free, but pain-free challenge isn't a great name either. So we're going to stick with our name of our Facebook page and call it the Painkillers Challenge. So that's the first thing I have to do today is go through and change everything to Painkillers Challenge instead of Chronic Pain Challenge. And I really want to thank my daughter for pointing that out to me because it's been kind of gnawing away at the back of my mind because I didn't like the name of it either. So I'm going to change it. And that's the cool thing about doing things like this. We can change them on the fly. So let's just jump right into today's lesson since it kind of tied already today. My comments have already tied together with yesterday's. Let's jump into today's. And today's topic is for our spirit or our soul, whatever you want to call your, your bigger self or your true self. That's a, a topic for another day. But today's topic, remember, we're going to do mind, body, and spirit. We've done body for day one, mind for day two, and today we're going to talk about something that I consider a spiritual concept. And that's the idea of gratitude, being grateful and thankful for what we have in our life and what's working. And I think people totally underestimate the importance of thinking about and really feeling and reminding ourselves what's working in our lives, what we are thankful and grateful for. I am really, really grateful for my daughter watching my video yesterday and saying, okay, well, the first thing is the name of the challenge based on the lesson that you taught today isn't consistent and you need to change that. I'm really grateful that she would listen to and give me that feedback and point it out because we all need that. We all need some outside perspective sometimes. I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful for my comfy blankets and my rocking chair and my, my comfy pajamas and the fact that I can can get on here and I can talk to you about pain-killing things and things that work for me that reduce my chronic pain that I really know in my heart that will work and help you too. So gratitude is, is a huge one. So today's challenge or exercise is not too hard, but the first thing in the morning when you wake up after you do the breathing, four, 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 four from day one, is to think of three things that you're grateful for. They don't have to be great things. I, a lot of the time, one of my things is I'm just grateful that I woke up and that I can get out of bed today because some days it's hard or almost impossible to get out of bed. Uh, so that's almost, well, actually, one of my three things every morning is that I am thankful that I woke up because I did have a death experience a few years back and that really made me appreciate every day above ground really is a good day. Even my worst pain days are better than the alternative, which is to not be here anymore on this planet, experiencing all the amazing things that might not always feel amazing at the time, but they're here to make us grow. Um, so in the morning, three things you're grateful for. Sometime during the day, sometime, at least notice and observe and tell yourself one other thing that you're grateful for. And then when you lay down to go to bed, and I know it's hard for some of us to sleep, but this helps. The breathing and thinking and doing this helps to calm your body, calm your mind, and get you to actually go to sleep. So again, at bedtime, when you go to bed or laying down or when I'm sitting in my rocking chair, whatever works for you, think of three more things that you were grateful for during the day. You know, for a while, I was grateful that I could make it to the bathroom. That was one of the things I said as I was going to bed is, oh my God, I'm so grateful that I made it to the bathroom all day today. And so whatever it is for you, it's going to be different for 
for you than it is for me. But again, it's just taking time to think what's working in our lives is always going to benefit us. So again, just a quick recap, gratitude, three things you're grateful for as soon as you wake up, one thing you're grateful for during the day, and three things you're grateful for when you get ready to go to bed at night or when you're going to try to go to sleep. And then of course, you can have a great night's sleep because you thought of all the things you were grateful for and how awesome your day was. So that's it for today. A quick short one because I had to go change everything to painkillers challenge. Have an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a pain-free, terrific day. Bye.